Shreveport's latest deadly shooting happened at a popular gathering place, the Stoner Avenue Skate Plaza. Police are actively searching for a suspected armed robber. Nearly $174,000 of marijuana off the streets tonight. That's what the sheriff's office is saying about the, what was found inside of a Shreveport home. The study from Neighborhood Scout revealed the 100 most dangerous cities in the U.S. and Louisiana made it on the list five times, including the top spot. Shreveport made the list, coming in at 84. Breaking news for you this morning. Shreveport police are investigating the shooting of another Shreveport man. Now at five, two people have been arrested in Shreveport's latest shooting. Just thinking about everything that I went through, kind of growing up in Louisiana, sends chills down my spine. They said that there was only two ways out, either dead or in jail. And I saw that that came to be true with lots of my friends and my family. My little brother went to juvenile life, sentenced for armed robbery. My sister did time in prison as well. And ever since I've been young, my mom has been on and off drugs, in and out of jail my whole life. She was actually shot and is paralyzed from her waist down. My dad, when he was younger, he spent time in prison as well for things that he did, joining gangs, selling drugs. And there was also one time when he was running from a robbery that he had just committed and a cop shot at him and the bullet missed his leg by a few inches. Very blessed to be in this situation and make it to this point where I made it in my life today. And people ask me all the time, Dr. Webb, why do you do some of the things that you do? Why, do you, why are you so passionate about helping others kind of reach their goals? spend a lot of your time speaking and traveling across the, the U.S. and also some parts of the world to tell your story. Well, I didn't have anyone to kind of lead me in the, the right path when I was growing up. It wasn't until a magnet program called the Fair Park Medical Careers Magnet Program that introduced me to the field of medicine. And that program essentially changed my life. I wouldn't be here today standing as a physician surgeon about to complete residency if it wasn't for that program. That program kept me off of the streets of Louisiana and is the reason why I'm a doctor today. So yes, I'm passionate about helping others kind of reach their goals, showing others that no matter what you go through, if your family members are in prison, if your friends are calling you names, if your counselors are telling you that you can't do it, if you lost friends along the way, if you failed tests before, if you applied to certain programs and didn't get it, well, I'm a living testament that you can do it as long as you work really hard and keep God first. No matter what you go through in life, just remember that someone, somewhere, did it before you. So, no matter what your circumstance, I always tell people that they can use me as motivation. And if I can do it, you guys can also.